Look at those handstand push-ups. Look at the speed she still has on those. Five reps more for Carrie Pierce. 100 points more for Carrie Pierce. Hi, I'm Katie Linendahl. I'm joined with the fittest American female, my dear friend, Carrie Pierce. This is a gem. Back from the CrossFit Games. Thank you. I'm honored yeah. to be chatting with you. And like, I usually work out with her and just kick him my butt, but today we just get to chat because we have different audiences. Yeah. We're obviously definitely. in the CrossFit fitness mm -hmm. world and I have a, a mixture of audiences, including the tech world. Perfect. So I thought what would be interesting in just having the opportunity to chat with you today is first to maybe just break down I think more and more CrossFit gyms are popping up all over the globe. I mean, I know from all my travels, it's like you can't go anywhere without seeing CrossFit gym, but how the games actually work and how you qualify for it. And then we're gonna get into all things you because she is the fittest woman in the US. So go ahead, tell us about CrossFit games. Yeah, so the CrossFit games happen once a year and they recently just changed some of the rules. So now there is one person from every country that has a CrossFit box that attends the CrossFit Games. So there was 130, right around 135 women and 145 men that were at the CrossFit Games this year competing in the first event. So, and you qualify through the Open, so if you're number one in your country, through the Open, which is a five week long competition, one workout a week, you have from Thursday night till Monday night, you find out the workout on Thursday, you can complete it once, twice, three, four, however many times you want to through Monday and your score has to be submitted by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So they have a certain time uh, cut off and so it's just five different workouts through those five weeks that can be strength focused, gymnastics, endurance, or a mixture of everything. Since and you put out videos for those? Yeah, just to prove that you actually did them the time you said, right? Yeah, and I have to, I video all of my workouts just to be safe. This past year, I had to submit all five workouts, five videos from each week. So you never know which one they're gonna ask for. If you're top 20 uh, in the open, you also have to submit your videos or if you're one of those national champions, you have to submit them. Usually they'll, well this year they called for two different workouts. Not all five, I posted all five just so that people can see that all of my scores are legit and that I didn't cheat on anything. So they can see that the fitness is real, especially when you qualify, then CrossFit will ask for a couple of videos just to make sure that your movements are correct, that you did the right number of reps and that you did actually get the correct score that you entered. So you've taught me so much about getting to the games. So we fast forward, you get to the games, they're in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> and then mind blown, you don't know what you're going to be doing at the games. No. Nope. Every That's year, like this is insane to me. I mean, for people that are watching that are like, dude, this is CrossFit. I'm like, when you first discovered that, I think that's like pretty crazy. Yeah, it is really crazy because that's how it's unlike any other sport. Like when I was in gymnastics, it's like, you know exactly what routine you're gonna do when you show up to a competition. You practice it many, many times over and over. Hockey, you know you, what basically what you're gonna do. You're gonna go hit a puck around, try and get it in a net. CrossFit, you have no idea what you're gonna do. You can do a 6K run with a heavy backpack on your back. You can do a one rep max deadlift. You can do, you can swim in the ocean or swim in the lake, I guess, when it's in Madison and then have to run and bike. You never know what you're gonna do. You have to walk on your hands, basically any sort of weightlifting, endurance, gymnastics, move on objects. You have to be ready for anything. So that's kind of what I think makes the sport so much fun. And you're preparing a full year for that. Yeah. For the games. And I, I want to talk about, just to give you an example of one of the events, you know which one we're going to talk about, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah. The Mary. <laughs> yep. Okay. So let me give you a snapshot of the Mary, which was <laughs> this event that you just killed. Thank you. I mean, like watching her now and knowing you two years and just like cheering you on is like so exciting. Hype mode. But can you explain that event? Like again, surprised, you don't know what you're going into. <laughs> this particular event was... Yeah, so I was a gymnast for 18 years and Mary is a 20 minute workout. You have to do five handstand push-ups, 10 pistols or single leg squats, then 15 pull-ups. And basically just as many rounds as you can do in those 20 minutes. So I ended up getting 23 rounds and then five reps. So that's doing around faster than a minute. And I was it. doing the math like, and I was like, this isn't human. How did this happen? And I like reread it and I reread it. You're like, wait a minute, is am I like reading it right? And what and I did read right, may I say, is that not only did Carrie win that event, she beat out 
all the boys. <laughs> that no is big deal. wild. Thank and you. then to get the credit from David. Yeah. Can you speak to that? Because that was a really cool moment. Yeah. No, I actually have goosebumps you just talking about it. So Dave Castro is the director of the CrossFit Games, and he is very hard to please. He's never impressed. And I actually, like, right after the event was over, like, came and shook my hand and said, wow, great job on that. And then when I saw him a little later that night in a press conference, he made it very clear that he was very impressed uh, at me beating the boys, especially in a workout that's the same for girls and guys. Yeah. Exact same body weight usually ends up that the guys beat the girls. And then he even posted on his Instagram when he talked about Mary that it was one of his favorite moments, if not his favorite moment ever in the CrossFit Games history. So I'm like, Huge. I feel like I should retire now because yeah, I've like made it. Yeah. yeah. Right? I mean, I've been telling you that for a long time, but <laughs> right. finally it hits home. Yeah. <laughs> She's so humble too. And just the work ethic and I, I get to see a snapshot of just your world. It's, it's insane. And it's so deserved, when, especially when those moments come through. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. P.S. You did allude to the, the ruck, the six mile run. Yeah, 6K, yeah. Six, it was a 6K. 6K. So that's what, uh, five Ks, 3.1452 something. So, all right, whatever, do the math at home. Yeah, it's just under four miles. Got it. Under. That was intense. Yeah, That so. was, can we, can you show your back? Is it still back? Yeah, I mean, is it's still like pink. Oh, okay. I don't know if they can. This is, I, I saw her the like, other day training and I was like, that is pink. from. And that's two and a half weeks later. It's not like it's been like a few days. It's still pink. Okay. It is from, we had to do a 6K run, and you do 1,500 meters with a 20 pound ruck bag on. Then you add a 10 pound sandbag, you have to do another 1,500 meters. Then another 10 pounds, you have to 40, another 1,500 meters. And then you have to do a 1,500 meters with 50 pounds in your backpack. And that was probably the most miserable event oh. I've ever done, just mentally. Physically, like the last 200 meters, I was questioning if I was actually gonna finish. I was like, I might so just fall down that? right here, right now. You last year, they did a marathon row. Was it worse yeah. than a marathon row? I think so. I think I would oh. rather do the marathon row over doing that rock run again. That speaks volumes. Yeah, even though it was, it only, had, it was like half an hour, right around 30 minutes. And the marathon row was over three hours. But just like the intensity and just, I don't know, just everything that was like going through my head and like my legs hurting. And I, like I said, I didn't even know if I was gonna finish. And even my coach was uh -huh. like, that fourth lap, he was like, you looked like you were suffering. I was like, oh, don't worry. I was, I was definitely suffering. That was my next but, question. It's just like, was that, obviously it sounds like that was the hardest one for you then. Yeah, yeah. hands down, definitely. I, would, I wouldn't mind doing any of the workouts again, except that one. I hope I never have to do anything like that ever again. But my coach is like, yeah, so we're gonna start doing more. No. Of, yeah. So. Well, you started getting heavy into the running though over the past year. Yeah, I've done a lot more running, so I've gotten a lot better at running. But now we're gonna add some more weighted running. Mm, interesting. It'll like weight vest or like with a backpack. He's like, it's one of those things you can't train so much because it's just really hard on your joints. Yeah. So we can do it once every other week or once every three weeks just to kind of feel it out and make sure that it's not something brand new that we haven't seen before when we go to a competition or if it's at the games again. How does your body feel after the games? Like, obviously there's probably a massive high just from the, the insanity of the, the crowd and just, can we get to the point where Carrie, last year finished sixth, first US, this year up. Yeah. Fifth in the world, fittest American female, first US female finisher. I mean, it's, it's mind blowing. Like, Thank congratulations you. again. I've said it like a Thank you. Times. <laughs> hey, you can keep saying it. I never get sick of it. It's so awesome. But I, I, I was genuinely, when I first saw you back at the gym, I'm like, how do you feel? Like, how's your body feel? How's your, how are you up here? Like, what's, what's your status? Yeah, I mean, like, right after the games finish, you, obviously you're on a high just from having all that energy and everything, but it was four days, 12 events, and then the next day you wake up and you're like, thank God I don't have to work out today. Because you, like, basically get it your all every day and by that fourth day by the time it's done you're just like everything hurts i'm tired as you should be and as everyone is like you give your best through those four days and it's like you know that dave castro did a great job programming because if i still had something left then he wouldn't have done it right it's like you have to give your best just so they can find the fittest and even though like you're super tired you're like still on this like cloud nine high especially you know after doing so well and giving your best but then shortly after you're like oh i want to go back and i want to get on the podium now because you could like kind of feel it this That's year so nature yeah my coach is like two weeks no programming like 
rest, actually rest because you need to recover, but you're like, yeah. oh, I want to go, but I took the time to rest. I did a few light workouts, but that was it. It was like just mentally shut off, just try and get out of the gym, just enjoy like being with family and being with friends. So I went to Michigan, I went to Miami. So I got to do like a little bit of traveling, just like let myself unwind because otherwise I would want to be in the gym and getting after it still, even though I, you know you need the rest. But you were ready to be back and I think that's what I'm like mm. trying to grab out of you is I was, the, the longevity you have in such an intense environment and sport is really like, that's really wild. Thank I you. think that there's few people that could sustain like you, you're, you're, you're like, I'm ready. I want to yeah. start working out. Like, yeah. Carrie Pierce yeah. CrossFit ain't going away anytime soon. And I, I got is I'm watching this and like grabbing some popcorn and yes. maybe really healthy popcorn and watching this play out for many years to come. Like, I think yeah. that's really neat about the longevity that you have. Thank you. And I think part of it is my love for the sport, number one. Um, and then also just being smart about my training. Like my body feels great, like joints and everything, even after the games. I feel like this year I actually feel better than any other year. Like Ooh. usually I'll have like a little knee thing or a little ankle thing and I'm like, I feel great, let's go back to normal training. So I feel like that's a big, big part of it, just staying healthy and then obviously you have more fun when you are healthy and things don't hurt. Right. So I'm definitely and hungry for more. You say normal training and like normal training. <laughs> Can you give a snapshot of what a typical, I mean, every day is very different. Yeah. But you're training six days a week, seven, what's your... So right now is gonna be six days a week. It's gonna be five days of two a days. One is gonna be a little more like cardio stuff. So like an hour to an hour and a half of either running or swimming or biking, something along those that nature. And then another session that's anywhere from three to four and a half hours of like weightlifting, gymnastic stuff, bodybuilding stuff, like more CrossFit oriented. That's five days. And then I have one active recovery day, so it'll be two separate cardio sessions that are an hour to an hour and a half. And then Sunday is complete rest. I'm not allowed to do anything fitness wise. So that's what my coach says. He's like, you need to rest mentally as well as physically, yeah. which are both equally as important. And you get good sleep too. Oh, I get great sleep. Good. That's something I have to prior prioritize. Like yeah. each night I get eight to nine hours um, just because you have to recover when you're working out so intensely. And if I don't get quality sleep, I definitely feel it in my performance the next day. We get to talk about something funny as a final chat because I, I, I will admit, I think this is time to be clear, but you know, a good portion of why I work out so hardcore is because I like to eat and I like my sweets, okay? Let's talk about myself for a second. But I come back from Christmas break and I'm like, there, there might have been one day where I did indeed eat like nine sugar cookies and like that just at one point of the day. And I was like, Carrie. Would you, would you like, did you have any sweets? Like, what'd you have? And you go, this is like forever in my mind. You're like, I had a peanut butter ball. <laughs> and like, was that like in a half hour? All right. Or was that like- Each day? What, yeah, like through the, What, and then you're like, and I had a little fudge. The whole Christmas <laughs> break. And I, I'll never forget that. Like, but I think you did so. A testament to have this insane What's wrong body. With one peanut butter ball and some fudge. One peanut <laughs> butter ball. You're like, that's it. Treat yourself. Come what on. What is going on? <laughs> so like I, yeah, I had that for a snack every day. But you tell me you this. I mean, it. like, you got the insane abs. You got the insane body. There's a lot of clean eating. Yeah. But do definitely. you like? Do you treat yourself a little bit here and there, or is it really like in a in a day? It, de it depends on where I'm at in the season. Like, well, the, for the two weeks after the games, I was like, obviously eating healthy because otherwise my body, like I would just feel like crap. Yeah. But when I wanted ice cream, I went to get ice cream. If I wanted cookies, I would eat cookies. If I wanted to go out with my family, I went out with my family and didn't really care. And I didn't count macros, I didn't count calories. I didn't do any of that just to like, mentally just like kind of check out and even like one of my friends like oh i started baking more you need to come over i was like okay elephant ear let's go yeah um, right so i'm excited for that so right now is a little more chill time just because i don't have like i have the open coming up in october but after everything is so intense leading up to the games you're like i just need like a little time to not be so strict and just kind of like enjoy like if i'm hungry i need a little more if i'm not then i'm not but i'm not like counting calories or anything like right now but i still try and keep it very clean like do you have anything in your fridge or your freezer like you have ice cream in your freezer that you're like Ugh, just go in there and like i actually just don't not keep it around is that the yeah. trick <clears throat> i usually just don't keep it around like the only kind of chocolate that i have in my apartment is like rx bars oh my gosh 
So that's basically it. This one time I was on a date and a guy for dessert gave me up like a power bar and I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> that's, You're like, you don't terrible. understand my level of desserts and of sweets. Like that is something that is very important to me. Yes. Katie does not yeah. mess around. No, that's true. Yeah. Especially okay. like with your blizzards and stuff. Oh no. yeah, the Dairy Queen blizzard. Let's don't get me started on that. We still have to get enough for our ice cream. Yeah, she said that after the games, we were going to go to ice cream. Yeah. I might hold you to that. Okay, let's do it. But I do respect, I mean, the clean eating and just the work ethic. I mean, there's a reason where you are where you are. Thank you. Yeah. Incredible. Next year, you're going for it, right? Of course. Open, opening in October. Yep. And mm -hmm. then... Is it okay to say you may be doing Dubai? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dubai? Yeah, the plan as of right now is Dubai, which is the middle of December. And then also Miami, which is the end of February. Rogue, yes. right? Miami, it's, you can't go wrong with it. Um, and then Rogue, which is in Columbus, Ohio, in the middle of May. And then the Games again, which is the end of July, beginning of August. Carrie Pierce, CrossFit, follow her on all social. And also check out her amazing abs program, which I also do. Yeah. That is at Pierce pointers.com yep. yeah piercepointers.com slash power abs slash power dude get that real estate in yeah Jerry Pierce amazing power abs <laughs> yes